a little bit of a flow today. And we're actually going to start up at the front edge of our mat. I might need to move that back a little bit. We'll see. So standing towards the front edge, separate your feet just a little bit so that they're about hip distance apart. Just make sure that they're in line with each other. Shoulders nice and easy. Roll them around a little bit. And then just make your arms relax. Soften your knees slightly. And then take a moment to close eyes. And just let everything slow down. Make your mind slow down. Make your body find some stillness. Make your inhale and your exhale lengthen. Let it deepen and travel a little bit further through your bodies. Take a moment to observe yourself from a distance. Notice how your physical body is feeling, any areas of tension or tightness that you might be registering this morning. And just take a moment to acknowledge it, breathe into it. And give yourself permission to move with that area of tension or tightness today, giving yourself that little release where it's needed and giving yourself permission to step back and take it easy when you need to as well. Taking a nice deep breath in through your nose, hold for a moment and long exhale through the mouth. Open your eyes slowly, blinking gently, bring yourself back into your space. We're going to breathe and to grow a little taller. Exhale as you look down and then start rolling forward. And you're gonna come forward just until your hands are in front of your knees. Keep your knees a little bit soft, stay there. Take your hands and place them on top of your legs, just above the knees. And then let's start lengthening the spine so you reach the tailbone out and reach through the crown of your head. And then round your spine again. Think of pulling your belly towards your spine, tucking your chin in and again, lengthen. So as you do the standing cat stretch, you're going to keep your hands supporting you on your legs and as much as possible, keeping the support through your core. And you can start exploring the range of movement with your spine. Maybe start small and then go a little bit bigger. And let's take one more time. Round your spine. And then let's stay here for a moment. Everybody meet in a cat stretch. And then when you're ready, let your hands go. Let them hang in front of you again. Take a break then. Go down to the floor this time. So you're going to fold over from the hips. And just notice that you're getting a little bit more of a stretch now in the back of the legs here. Relax your neck. Take a breath in, and when you come back up into standing, using your abdominals, using the back line of your body, using your breath, as much as possible, coming all the way up and tall, and then again, take a moment to roll the shoulders back and around, and then I'm just going to turn to face you guys. You can stay as you are, letting the shoulders relax, taking your fingertips onto your shoulders, Turn your head towards your right. I'm doing a mirror image of you. Tilt your chin down as if you're going to sniff your armpit. And then play with the position of your head until you feel a wonderful release along the left side of your neck. Now, if you want to increase it, you could take your left hand and reach it down towards the ground. Stay here for just a few more moments as you breathe. And it should be a gentle stretch, not a forced stretch. Bring your fingertips back to your shoulders. Lift your head and bring your head back to the center. Stay for a moment. And now turn your head towards the other side, to the left. Tilt your chin down and again, play with the position of your head until it feels good for you. And then decide, would you like to increase it? 
And if you do want to increase the stretch, you take your right fingertips down towards the ground. Make sure that you can breathe. How does the side feel in comparison to the first side? And bring your fingertips back. Lift your head, bring your head back to the center. Inhale, reach all the way up. And exhale, open your arms nice and wide, clearing that beautiful bubble for yourself, bringing it all the way down beside you. And just once again, letting your arms and your shoulders settle in. a little bit lower than we did on the first one. So now you're going to come down until your hands are in the middle of your shins. Take your hands now and hold onto the front of your shins. Start to lengthen the spine, reaching the tailbone back and the crown of your head forward, and then round your spine, lifting your belly, tucking tail and tucking chin. And again, lengthen. Now, as you do this cat stretch, I want you to connect to your breathing. And it doesn't matter when you inhale and when you exhale, as long as you find the rhythm with your breath. Start exploring your range through this movement. Remember that your arms and your core are helping you. There's no strain in your back. This is going to be our last one. Let's round our spines like a cat and pause here for a moment. Let everybody meet here. Let your hands go. Let them hang heavy. Now we're going to go all the way down. Holding over from the hip. Maybe this is getting a little bit easier for you. And then start to roll up through your spine, using abdominals, using the back line of your body, and using your breath to travel through space and bring yourself all the way upright. Once again, roll the shoulders back and around. Let your knees soften, taking your right arm. We're going to bring it up and over and back down. Left arm comes and back down. Now just keep going at your own rhythm. So it's quite a soft, easy movement. You're not really pushing into the stretch. You're just allowing your body to release sideways. Letting hips, ribs, arm move. Have the knees bend. Feels like it gives you that nice extra stretch. Take one more time to each side. No forcing. And this is going to be the last one with the left arm coming up and over. Come all the way back to the center. You're going to stay as you are. Inhale, expand, grow a little taller. Exhale, nod your chin. And here we go into our last roll down, letting your arms and head go nice and heavy. This time, come down until you can put your fingertips on the ground. Now, if that means you need to bend the knees, then please bend your knees. <laughs> We're going to lengthen the spine. You can go onto the tips of your fingers if you need, and then curl the spine and round over. So we're doing our standing cat stretch again, but because we've got our hands on the floor, you might find that the range is a little bit smaller. And can you notice that the emphasis now, you're gonna see quite a lovely stretch at the back of the legs. Let's take one more time. Lengthen. And fold over now, stay here. Bend your knees as if you're going to sit nice and deep into a dining room chair. And then straighten your legs as much as you can manage, relaxing the back of your neck. Let's do that again. Bending the knees. And again, straighten, sending the pelvis up. Let's do one more time. Bending the knees. And straightening the legs, sending your pelvis up. Now bend your knees. And I need you to now balance on your left foot. 
So keep your hands on the floor, pick up your right leg, and you're just finding balance here. Keep your standing leg bent and start stretching the right leg all the way back and then place your foot onto the ground. Lower your knee down and this is where you might need a little pad underneath the knee. Relaxing the foot out and you're going to walk your hands back in line with the heel. And then start shifting our body weight backwards and forwards. So as much as possible, you're going to straighten the front leg. But here's the trick. Instead of letting your spine collapse over, can you lengthen your spine so you feel that your heart is lifted? That's it. One more time. Press back. Hold it here. Bend the front knee a little bit. Lift the toes up. And let's do that little internal, external rotation from the hip. You guys know I love this one, right? Our little hamstring glide. That's it. Nice. So see if you can keep your shoulders and your pelvis still and letting the movement come from the hip socket. Bring your foot back to the center, put your toes down, and then come all the way forward with your hips. Now, I'm gonna ask you to tighten your abdominals. Reach one arm forward, tighten up your abs, stand on that front foot properly, and reach the other arm forward as well. Hold it there. Can you feel the abdominals connecting? Start lifting your arms up, and your head, your chest, and your torso come upright. Focus your balance. Beautiful work, everyone. And now bring both arms forward, just in line with your chest. Keep your body upright. That's it. Now take your left hand and open it out to the side. And if you can, take that arm all the way back. Keep your focus, getting a lovely twist through the spine, bringing that left hand all the way forward again. Place your hips down to the ground, tuck your back toes under, and then to pick up that back knee for three. And release it down. And for two. And release it down. And for one, stay here. Now, you guys know I love a little bouncing action, right? So bend the knee and give a little hop. And again, little hop. One more time, little hop. Now, foot forward and see if you can line up your feet with each other. Just relax over. Maybe you want to straighten the knees. Maybe you want to sway a little bit from side to side. And then bring yourself to center, soften the knees, roll up into standing, using those abdominals, using the back of your body, and using your breath. Let's roll the shoulders around. Now let's add a lift with the arms. We're going to breathe and reach them all the way up. Open your arms, clearing space, nod your chin, Let's roll down. Soften your knees as much as you need to because I'm going to ask you to put your fingertips onto the ground again. And then let's do a cat stretch. Lengthen the spine. Go onto the tips of your fingers and then round your spine and relax all the way over. Keep the fingertips there. Bend your knees a little bit. Stand on your right leg this time and pick up the left foot and just balance here. Bend your standing knee, stretch the left leg back and put your toes to the floor. Now give yourself some padding if you need for the knee and lower that knee to the ground. Releasing the foot back. Now walk your hands a little bit back so it's in line with the heel of your foot and let's shift our body weight. Forwards and backwards. So guys, remember what we're focusing on here is keeping our hearts open shoulders away from the ear, and that beautiful length through the crown of the head. So we're not allowing our bodies to collapse. There's energy. Shift back, and let's all meet here for a moment. Bend that front knee a bit, lift your toes up, 
And let's turn the hip in and out. Little hamstring glide. So this is all such beautiful preparation work for us to be able to stand and move with ease. And then bringing your foot back to the center, put your toes down, shift your body weight forward, moving the fingertips forward here. Now, firm the abdominals, reach one arm forward, it doesn't matter which one, stand properly on that front foot. Abs, reach the other arm forward, hold it there. Start lifting your arms and let your body follow that movement as you come up, stay here. Bring both hands forward. Open the right arm out to the side. Now you can take the arm back as much as your flexibility allows as you open up into your twist. Bringing that arm all the way forward again. Beautiful. Bringing the fingertips down. Tuck the back toes. Let's lift that knee for three. And release. Can you think of energy through your heel and energy through your crown? It's four horses. Last one. Up you come, hold it. Shall we do three little bounces now? Push. And again. One more. And now, pop yourself forward. Feet in line. Fold over. Just relax here for a moment. Let's sway a little bit from side to side. So we feel like we're hanging like rag dolls. And then say to yourself, soften your knees, unravel, coming all the way up. And lifting tall, rolling the shoulders back. Take a moment to connect your feet to the ground and just allow your breath to slow. Both arms reach up, breathe in. Feel your ribs expand. Open your arms, clear space. Nod your chin. Rolling forward through your spine, letting those knees soften as much as you need to. Placing the fingertips to the ground. Let's do one cat stretch where we can lengthen the spine. Keep your hands supported on the ground. And then fold over. Now place the fingertips, balance on the right leg, oh sorry, left leg as you step the right leg back. Nice big step back, holding it here. Move your hands back in line with your heel. Now, if you need to put the back knee on the floor, please do it, but otherwise let's challenge ourselves. Can you start shifting your body weight back, straightening the front knee, and then bend the front knee again? And again, so it's exactly what we did two seconds ago, except we happen to have lifted up the back knee. And bend the front knee, now listen up. Connect into your abdominals. Reach one hand forward. Uh, stand on your front foot, abs. Reach the other arm forward, yes. And now start lifting your arms and allow your body to come upright. You can bend the back knee if you need to, and you can put your knee down if you need to. Bring your hands forward. Open the left arm. Take it as far back as your body allows. Bring that hand forward again, placing your hands down. Let's do three little hops with that back foot, little push. And again. One more, and bring it forward. Bend your knees as much as you need to, and hang there, relax. Take a breath in, roll up into standing. Using abdominals, using the back line of your body, connecting your breath. Both arms, inhale, reach up. Exhale, clear some space, nod your chin, toning down. Soften your knees as much as you need to, fingertips to the ground, lengthen your spine. Think of that cat stretch, lifting halfway, and then fold over, 
place the fingertips, bend the knees, balance on the right leg, and step the left leg all the way back. You can put your knee up if you need to. Give yourself permission. Move your hands back in line with the heel, and let's straighten the front leg, and bend the front knee. And again. And release. One more time. And release. Hold it. Abs. Reach one arm forward. Take a moment to connect your core. Balance on the front foot. Reach the arm forward. Yes, guys. Lifting your arms. Remember, you can put your knee down if you need to. Bring both arms forward. Open the right arm to the side. Yes. Beautiful. Bring that hand forward. Reach down. Fingertips are going to help you balance. Let's balance off that back foot. Three. And two. And one. Step all the way forward. Feet in line, relax over. Soften the back of your neck, maybe give it a little shake. And then soften your knees. Unravel your spine. Coming all the way upright. And lifting nice and tall. Take a moment to close your eyes. Let your body settle into space. Listen to your heartbeat. Notice your breath. Notice the energy that's moving through your body. Connecting your feet to the ground and connecting your head to the clouds. As you're ready, opening your eyes, blinking gently. Taking both arms all the way up, we breathe. And then open your arms, nod your chin, and let's roll forward through the spine. Soften your knees as much as you need to. Bringing fingertips to the ground. Lengthen the spine, coming halfway up. And then fold over. This time, either put fingertips or flat hand to the ground. Standing on your left leg as you step the right leg all the way back. Now pushing into your hands, step the left leg back to join. And we hold a plank position. Shoulders away from the ears, but that's nice alignment. Reaching forward through the crown of the head. Let's just push forwards and backwards off our toes for a moment. Just shifting gently. One more time. And now lower your knees to the ground, release the feet out, round your spine like a cat, and let's just move back into a cat stretch. And you can either just stay here nice and still, or if it feels good for you, you can do that little trampolining action. Keeping it gentle. One more. And then coming forward with a rounded spine, lengthen your spine into a tabletop, but you've still got a wide base with your knees and with your hands. Now with a tabletop spine, start moving your shoulders forward over the wrists, and then moving yourself back until your hips are above your knees. So again, it's that little shifting of body weight, and you can keep your eyes open or closed, just start to notice the different muscles, the different parts of your body that start to connect as you shift forwards and then shift backwards. And we're just going to do one more time. And now I want you to shift back so that your hips are above your knees and your hands are actually forward. Feel free to move your hands wider if you need to, but you're going to keep a lat connection here. Take your right leg back, level out the shoulders and the hips, and then pick up the right leg, holding it here. 
You're going to round your spine and bring your knee towards your nose. Lengthen your spine, reach through your crown and back through your foot. Round the spine. And you might be feeling this quite differently because normally we have our shoulders above our wrists. Not today. Keeping your shoulders back from your wrists to really find your lat connection. One more time. Hold it here. Flex your foot and push out through the heel of your foot. And then sweep your leg around to the side until you can get your big toe more or less in line with that knee. Roll your foot flat onto the ground. And still with a lengthened spine now, press back and forward. And so now you can move quite far back and quite far forward as much as your flexibility needs. If you're quite tight around the inner thighs, you might find you need quite a small movement. Let's take two more. Let's take one more. Now bring yourself so that your hips are just in line with the knee. The shoulders are behind the wrists, remember? See if you can pick up that leg, sweep the leg around, and bring the knee all the way in. Just settle on all fours, and once again, shifting body weight forwards and backwards. Finding that length and spine. Knees okay? Mm -hmm. Good. So if you need any padding underneath the knees, please feel free to do so. And then stop with your hips in line with the knees. Stretch that leg back and pick up the leg. Double check that your lower abs are connected. Round your spine, draw knee to nose. And lengthen your leg back. And again, round. And lengthen. Two more. Energy through your crown. One more. Stretch your leg back. Stay here. Flex the back foot. Circle your leg around to the left. Get your foot flat to the ground. Make any adjustments you need. And then let's start moving gently forwards and backwards. Explore your range. Make any adjustments that you need so that it works for you. Stay with your breath. Last two. Last one. Bringing your hips just in line with the knee. Lift up the leg, sweep it around to the back and bringing that knee all the way in. Tuck your toes under. And now tighten up your knees. You should automatically come back into your push-up position. Holding it here, bend the knees a little bit and start walking your feet forward. At a certain point, you may need to come onto your fingertips, so give yourself permission to do so. Line up your toes and relax over, softening into the neck, maybe swaying a little bit from side to side. <laughs> bend knees or straight. Take a breath in, exhale, come back up into standing. Taking your time as you come all the way up. Shoulders nice and easy. And taking a moment to just roll the shoulders back and around. So you can stay as you are. I'm going to turn to face you so we can see what I'm doing. Softening your knees. You're going to bring the arms all the way forward. And then releasing the arms down. And again. Floating the arms just to the height of the chest and release. Let's do two more. Letting the movement almost come from the middle of your back. Bring the arms up and now stay here. Turn the palms up and we open the arms. Breathe in and breathe out. Now I want you to allow your arms to travel as far back as they need so that you feel an opening across the chest, 
the front of the shoulder. So if that means your arms come behind you and you get almost a little squeeze in the back muscles, that's fine. One more time. And release. And this us take arms out to the side. I'm gonna turn around so you can see me from the back. Open your arms and then bringing your hands behind your back and you're going to just hold your elbows here. So you're just gonna get a gentle grip onto those arms. And I want you to now shift your body over to your right leg and bringing your left heel to rest against your ankle here. And I want you to double check that you're not doing this. You're not dropping that right hip to the side. Pull the hip in underneath you. And now I want you to close your eyes. Mm -hmm. And if you need to open your eyes, if you can fall down, please don't fall down. <laughs> if you really want to, if you're next to your bed, you can fall down. <laughs> so just noticing your balance. Noticing the constant shift and adjustment and fine tuning. And again, at any point, open your eyes if you need to. Taking one more breath in and out. And then open your eyes, coming all the way back to stand on both feet, releasing your arms, bringing them out towards the side, palms facing upwards, and this time we inhale to reach up, connect the tips of the fingers to each other, and exhale, open the arms wide. And again, breathe in. Connecting the tips of the fingers and open. And if you've got any lower back issues, maybe you want to bend your knees a bit. And exhale. One more time. Breathing in. And exhale. Now, once again, bringing your hands into your lower back. Now, I know it sounds weird, but you need to change which arm is on top. So if you go into what feels normal for you, then swap it. And it's gonna feel a bit weird. Can you feel the changes, the stretch on the shoulder, eh? because we always bias to one side. Now, shift your body weight to your left leg, bringing the right heel just to the inside of the ankle, but your toes are still on the floor. And then double check that you haven't buckled the hip. You wanna bring that hip in underneath you. And you can keep your eyes open, or you can challenge closing your eyes and starting to observe yourself from the inside out. Just notice that when we balance, when we stand, it isn't this magical place that we hit where all of a sudden nothing moves. There's a constant Adjustment, assessment, shift, and finding equilibrium all the time. Keep breathing. Taking one more breath in and out. And then opening your eyes, blinking gently. And then stepping that right foot out, lining up your big toes with each other, releasing your arms slowly. Just allow the shoulders to settle and breathing and reach up. Connect the tips of the fingers. Open your arms, create space, nod your chin and just let your body fold forward. Find as much softness and ease through this movement as you can. Fingertips to the ground, bend your knees if you need to. Lengthen your spine, remember that beautiful cat stretch. And then fold over, placing fingertips or flat hand, you can bend the knees, balance on the left leg as you take a big step back with the right leg. Hold it there, reaching the left hand forward, Firming those abdominals, reaching the right hand forward. Remember, you can put your knee down if you need to. Lifting your arms as you come all the way up. 
reaching both arms forward, open the left arm, finding a beautiful spiral through your spine, bringing the left hand back, and then bringing the fingertips and hands all the way down, root into the hands and step the left leg back, find your plank position, let's move just a little bit forwards and backwards here, settle, lower your knees to the ground, release the feet, round your spine and let's do one beautiful long stretch back. Coming all the way forward, bringing your shoulders over your wrists, tuck the toes and when you lift your knees you'll be back in your plank position, lifting up, holding it here, send your hips up towards the side and then bend your knees if you need to and let's just pedal the heels out, getting that release along the back of the leg. Press both heels down towards the ground. And now, pick up your right leg, not too high, and then see if you can step your foot through between your hands. Now, if you can't make it, if you only make it to here, then help yourself until you can bring it to the front. Reaching the right hand forward. Abs. Reaching the left hand forward. Remember, you can put your knee down if you need to. Lifting your arms. Letting your body come all the way up. Bring your hands forward. Open the right arm, finding your spiral. Bringing the hand back. Bringing the hand all the way down. Fingertips first, but then go flat hand. Step the right leg back. There's your plank position. Let's move a little forwards and backwards on the feet. Settle yourself, lower your knees. Release your feet, round your spine. Let's do one beautiful long stretch back. Coming forward again, bringing yourself until your shoulders are above your wrists. Tuck your toes under, lift your knees up and go back in your plank. <sighs> Lifting hips up, finding your inverted V. Pedal your heels down one at a time. Press both heels towards the ground. And now lower your knees to the floor. Release the feet. Let your knees open wide. And let's just sit back into a resting position for a moment. Bringing your hands together in prayer. Bending your elbows and placing your hands behind your neck. Give yourself as much padding as you need. And we're going to be staying here for eight breaths in and out. Allowing yourself to settle into the space. Notice the effect of your breath on your body and on your energy. Notice how your breath gives you the ability to soften, release, and to focus. Taking one more time, nice deep breath in and out. Bringing your hands forward, separating your hands. Just allow yourself to draw slowly up onto all fours. And you guys are going to bring your right action in front. I'm just turning sideways, so once again, you can see where we are. So you're going to sit in your figure of four or in yoga, they call it your deer pose or your antler pose. And I just want you to place your hands lightly onto your knees and just take a moment to make any shifts that you need to. And we are going to now place the right hand just a little bit behind us with your left hand on the right knee. Make 
open your spine up and just start coming in a gentle twist. So this is called an open twist because we're moving towards the open side of the hip. Allow your eyes to close softly. Feeling that lengthening and space that you've created. And on your next breath, release all the way back to the center. And now taking your left leg, so you're doing the same as me, and you're going to extend that leg all the way out. Put your hand flat now just behind you, and let's press up onto the shin. Reach up, and then come into stargazing. Finding that long line of the body. Where do you need to place your head and your neck? Do you need to look down? Can you look up? Can you find the connection between the top hand and the leg that is stretching out? Take a breath in. And then exhale, slowly release all the way down. Letting yourself sit for a second. And now just switch over, so you're going to bend the left leg in front, placing your hands to your knee, just wiggle around, maybe if you need to put a bolster underneath the knee or your pelvis, you can. Now take your left hand, fingertips to the ground, opposite hand onto the knee, lengthen your spine to go the other way, mm -hmm. and then start to come into your open twist. Just letting your arms help you, pushing up through the hand that's on the floor to create space, and then using the hand that's on the knee to guide yourself. Don't force guide into a gentle twist of the spine. On your next breath, release all the way to the center. Outside. So the leg is supposed to be in the couch. That's it. And now, placing your hand flat to the floor behind you, up side, and press up onto your shin. Good. Sweep up and coming up into that beautiful side release of stargazer. Where do you need to place your head and neck? Breathe. Lengthen. Open the top line of the body. And once again, slowly releasing your hips all the way down. And then once you've settled, we're just going to sit with our feet at the front end of the mat. Knees bent, arms extended forward. And on your breath, start rolling all the way down. If you need a support underneath your lower back, please do so because we're going to be rolling back up again in a second. Reach the arms all, all the way back. Circle your arms around and then breathe. You start rolling all the way up and lifting up nice and tall. Good. So if you need to use hands or support, go for it. And again, using your breath, consciously, deliberately, and with control, placing yourself. Open up across the chest, sweep the arms around, and curl forward. And it's that strong exhale that will help you come up. And again, curling back. Release the arms overhead. Draw a big circle around yourself. And lift up tall. One more time, we're going to remain on our backs this time. And big circle around, but this time, just bring your hands next to your hips, and then walk your feet a little closer towards your pelvis. So you still want to have your knees and feet slightly apart, palms down or palms up, and we're ready to go into a pelvic curl. Start by tilting the hips, and then rolling up, coming up into your bridge position. Now stay here for a moment. On this first one, I want you to focus on the base of the pelvis and the rib cage is closed. The emphasis is on the bum cheeks. And then start to ripple down through your spine. 
Work your way through your lower back and release. And again, a little bit of a tilt of the hips. Coming into the same position, emphasis onto those gluteals. Take a little breath in, relax the neck if you can, and slowly down through the spine. And at the bottom, we're going to add on a little bit as we go, tilting the hips, rolling up, come up into that same bridge position, and then fall. Now, I want you to start pushing into the heels of your feet and lift your pelvis higher. Now, when you lift your pelvis higher, can you feel now that you are engaging the lower back muscles? And then let your pelvis come down, feel the release of your lower back, and then continue coming down so that you get a little bit of a stretch into the back and release. If you need to take your knees and feet wider apart, then please adjust for yourself, okay? Let's go again, tilting hips. Come up just into our normal bridge where the emphasis is on the bum cheek. Stay there for a moment. And now dig into the feet, start pressing the pelvis up higher. Feel the weight loading into the lower back a little bit. And then come down. Work your way through your spine. Feel that stretch as you come through the imprints. Now we're going to add on even more. On your breath, a little bit of a tilt, come up into the normal bridge, focusing on the gluteals. Stay here for a moment. Dig into your feet, pressing your pelvis up a little bit higher. There's the lower back. Now keep looking up at the sky. Don't look at your camera. Start pushing your chest towards your chin. And when you push your chest towards your chin, can you feel now that you've gone into a back extension? And now, the chest from your chin, bring your pelvis down so you're not working the lower back anymore, and then roll down through the spine and release. So we're putting in a sneaky back extension here, guys. Instead of lying on our stomachs doing cobra, we're doing it in the bridge position. Let's go one more time. Tilting the hips. Just come up to the point where you can feel the bum cheeks are working. Then dig into the feet, press a little higher for the lower back. Then start pulling your chest towards your chin. So you're almost squeezing the shoulder blades together slightly. There is your back extension. And then let's release. Soften through the spine, allowing your body to come all the way down and relax. Hug one knee to your chest, hug the other knee in, and then just maybe rock a little bit from side to side. Maybe you want to tuck your chin in, bring your head towards your knees, so you find that lovely release into the back. And then keep your feet lifted off the ground and lower your chest all the way down. Bring your knees and your feet just into a little tabletop position. Knees and feet are glued together. Open your arms out to the side and pin your arms to the ground. Now starting with quite a small rotation over towards the right. So you're going to keep the knees and the feet together. And then draw your legs back to the center. And again, rolling over to the left side. Remember that you've got to keep the arms down. And come back to the center. Now you can start making this a little bit bigger if you want. But you want to make sure that you're able to use the abdominals to control the movement, especially as you pull back to the center. So you don't want to find that point of no return. Let's take just a few more. Finding that lovely connection into those abdominals. Bring your legs back to the center now and hold it. Open your right leg out to the side, and you're gonna reach a point where it doesn't wanna go any further. Maybe if you're really flexible, that leg touches the floor. And then let your pelvis follow until you've got your right leg resting on the ground. And then you can close the left leg on top. 
do not force the left shoulder down if it doesn't want to stay on the floor here. Maybe you need to put a pad or a cushion between your knees and just allow yourself to enjoy the stretcher. Can you feel an opening across the left shoulder, the left chest and maybe down the arm? Maybe you want to look over that left shoulder. And now bringing your head back to the center, pick up your left leg first and allow your pelvis to roll onto the ground. And then you bring the right leg up again and just meet your legs in the middle. Now start opening your left leg out to the left. Just see how far it can go. And then when it can't go any further, let your pelvis roll to the side, connect your left leg to the floor for support, and then start closing the right leg on top. Don't force the right shoulder down. So my right side, whoa, I can feel it's quite tight and you can see that my arm has lifted. And just stay here, breathe. Maybe you wanna move the arm down or up or bend the elbow. Keep breathing. Make sure that your lower back feels okay. Make any adjustments. Give yourself props if you need. And then on your next breath, bring your head back to the center, bringing the right leg up. And then letting your pelvis roll until it's flat on the ground bringing your left leg up to join it, and then meet your legs in the center. You're going to take your hands to the front of your knees, create a little bit of resistance, and on your breath, tuck your chin, curl head and shoulders forward, stay here for a moment to make sure that your back is secure. If you need to support your head, support your head. Stretch the left leg away, and push your hands onto the right leg. Bring the left knee in, Switch hands to the left side and stretch the right leg away. Bend the knee in and switch. If there's any thunking or compromising in your lower back, then don't fully straighten that knee. You can do this as well, that's fine. And remember what I said is that you can put one hand behind your head for support, or maybe you wanna put both hands behind your head for support. Keep alternating legs. One more time, bend both knees, hug them in, and relaxing all the way down. Just turn your head gently to one side and then turn your head to the other. Bringing yourself back to the center, put your hands behind your thighs, tuck your chin in, bring yourself into a rounded ball shape, and then using your feet to give a little bit of a kick and a pull. And then come up and sit. Just balance here for a moment. And then lowering the legs down. Move your hips all the way back. And I want you to pick up your right ankle, cross it over the left knee. Help yourself get there if you need to. Let that knee drop open and then sit back as if you're on the beach. And then you're going to bend your underneath leg, your left leg, and put that foot flat. And depending on how flexible you are, you can bring that foot a little closer, but as much as you can, push out of the arms. And you feel a stretch on that right here. Ooh, and then make you want to do a little rock the baby. That's it. And again, guys, for those of you that are really flexible around the pelvis here, you could walk your hands closer to your pelvis. You could bring your left foot closer in and that's going to intensify the stretch for you. And then just settle there for a moment, taking a nice easy breath. Release that foot all the way out and then uncross. Give it a little bit of a shake and bringing the left foot up and over the knee. Let that knee drop open to the side. Hands behind you, sitting on the beach. And then bend the knee. Sit up nice and tall, pushing out of the arms as much as you can. And you can either just sit here and breathe or you can go into a little bit of rock the baby. So oftentimes 
when we're sitting cross-legged. One of the reasons that maybe we take strain in our lower back or around the knees is if the pelvis is tight. So this is a really good way just to sort of prep the hips for sitting cross-legged. And you guys know that the yogis love to sit in lotus pose. I've been practicing for a long time and I haven't come close. <laughs> Some people just slip into it so easily. And just bring yourself back to the center. Pause for a moment. Maybe lengthen your spine a little bit more. And then release and cross stretching the legs out and now we are going to sit cross-legged so for me you guys know that i need to sit on a little pillow give yourself a pillow if you need to and it doesn't matter which leg is in front pull the flesh of your bum out the back give yourself padding under your knees or your ankles if you need using your hands to sit up nice and tall maybe do just a little bit of a wiggle from side to side maybe a little bit of a twist and then decide if you're going to sit with palms down or palms up. That's completely up to you. Maybe you even want to put your hands on the floor. And just allow your eyes to close for a moment. Let your breathing slow down. Take a moment to listen to your heartbeat. Taking a moment here to observe yourself. Noticing your physical body. Noticing your energy. Perhaps noticing any shift that has taken place over the last hour of moving, breathing, challenging ourselves. just taking a moment before we finish our class to fully appreciate everything that your body is able to do for you. And there might be lots of things that come naturally or easily. But become aware of all the boundaries and the challenges and the obstacles that you may have encountered or pushed up against today and Sometimes those are our best teachers, those areas that we need to perhaps challenge ourselves a little bit more. And just allowing yourself to do so without actually judging what is happening, judging what you're able to do or not able to do. Take a lovely deep breath in through your nose. Hold for a moment. Open your mouth and exhale. Just blink your eyes open for a moment. Taking hands down beside you and just one more time. Take a deep breath in. Connect the fingertips to each other and then exhale. Open your arms. Create a lovely space for yourself again and just rolling your shoulders back and around. Nicely done. Oh, Are you okay with everything that we did? Yes. A little bit tougher. Okay. Guys, I'm going to turn on the sound now as well. Make sure everything's in one piece. <laughs> Yo, I think Phil, I've done for three days. Did you miss three days? No. 